So what's up guys, War here. Welcome back to the channel. We are in the last day of the early access beta. We got about three hours left and we are doing up some grinding. Now, as everybody knows that all of your characters and uh, everything that you've done early access, if you played transfers over to the next weekend, but this video is all about farming legendaries. Okay, so I've been trying to figure out a way to efficiently farm legendaries uh, in this game because it seems like they increased the drop rate for the beta but it's also uh it's just really tough to get legendary specifically the powers because once you extract powers and you imprint them on weapons or gear that's it they're done you have to find the power again to be able to, to put it on something different for example and when it comes to imprinting putting them on weapons for example like this one the basic skill is 64 percent attack speed that was normally 32 but on a weapon it's 100 percent increased on amulets it's 50 percent increased so like this ice armor, I've already imprinted it. I want to have another ice armor because I just want to put it on a gear piece. So there was a couple strategies that I have for you guys uh, to do. One strategy involves going all the way up here. So you can go to this little town here. It's like a little thing. You can go up in here and it has a world event that you can do. It's pretty easy to do. You just kill, have five waves or the other one is to free six prisoners. And then you'll get a chest that'll spawn open and it'll have the chance to give you a legendary item but more importantly it gives you the curiosity what is this the the obols which is great for rolling at the new age kadala uh for legendaries which is a really strong way to get legendaries this uh in in the beta at least but i found that like after you do that you tp and then you go back and forth and do it again but i found that using this dungeon so shout out to my community for uh showing this out to me Dead Man's Dredge, right here down to the southeast past Lazenia. This has like three chests. It has a mini event in there. You have multiple elites, and they all can drop you legendary. So this is by far the best place to do it. So we're just going to do a quick run through uh, just so that way you guys have some gameplay. But the uh, this dungeon just has the best chances on average you should be coming out with about one to two legendaries per run um even if you don't get one in a run and you get to the next run it evens out so this is definitely the best way to do it now once you're finished with the dungeon you just go to the map you can click on the entrance to this dungeon while you're in there and it'll teleport you back to the front and then what you can do is you can pull up your map press Q and pull this over and you can reset the dungeon this is much faster you just reset it and then you can do it all over again so we're just gonna go in I'm gonna get some gameplay for you guys and we're just gonna kind of talk about this and uh, have some fun man and we got some builds for you guys it's gonna be I'm so gonna great be PLK what's up man three damn best hour that's right Easy peasy. <clears throat> so hopefully we find some legendaries. That would be great for the video. So we have one one uh, champion right here, or elite, is this big guy. He has a chance to drop legendaries. And you'll see a lot of these guys throughout the entire dungeon. There's about four or five of them through the entire dungeon, and they, they all have a chance to drop you elites. Got my boy Muppet up in here. Oh my god, Muppet, you've been grinding, man. What the heck kind of powers do you got, bro? Let's go. Dang, what's up? Wait, the beta's still alive? Yeah, it ends at uh, 3 p.m. EST. Oh, hells no. Nah. So, we got another elite here. Dead. Look at that, and we got a legendary. Legendary. 
So these legendaries, guys, throughout this entire dungeon can drop between any elite. I'm going to kind of shift quickly and show you guys like some of the event stuff that you can do inside of the, the dungeon. But on average, you should come out for between one to two legendaries per run with this. And this is just really great. Oh, this is so good. What a good power, man. This is what I was looking for for Hydras. This is so good, man. You get one additional Hydra. Let's go, dude. Okay, sweet. Let's keep vibing. So right now you got like 10 to 12 elites in the dungeon, multiple chests. I'm not ready. So this place is definitely the best place to try to farm legendaries. Even if you're coming out with one to two, a run is pretty good. Is really, really good. I'm not ready yet. In compared, uh, the best way to get legendaries, guys, is just to do dungeons over and over again. It is just the best way. That's it easiest way I hate these little fang storms man another vampiric elite just get wrecked oh he didn't drop a legendary that's okay another elite so we completed dead man's dredge guys so again we came out with one uh, legendary from the dungeon run which is uh, our staff which the hydro power is very very strong but you saw we fought about 10 to 12 elites. We opened two chests. So this dungeon is by far the best way to grind out legendaries. If you're playing in the beta, if you're playing next weekend, this is definitely the best way. Now I'm not grabbing all this stuff because I don't need a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of resources. We're just going through and just grinding out. So, um, but if you want, you can pick this stuff up and then go back to town and just salvage it. It's perfectly fine. But when you are done to go back, all you're gonna do is TP back to the entrance of the dungeon, which is super easy. I love that aspect in Diablo 4. I think that's so cool when dungeon running is gonna be such a prevalent thing in Diablo 4. Kill all these guys real quick. So then all you do is you come here, you press Q, you reset the dungeon, you let your party members continue to do it. And that's it you rinse and repeat you go through the dungeon all over again this is by far the best way that i found to grind legendaries um and then hopefully in a lot of the chests you get the abduls which will give you the curiat so that way you can go to the curiosity vendor and uh uh you know basically kadala it and randomly gamble for a legendary so this is the dungeon guys dead man's uh dredge it's on the southeast side of the map just past lasagna it's really easy to get to and you just grind it over and over again so thank you guys so much for watching today's video like if you guys did enjoy comment down below how many legendaries you have for your characters and subscribe if you're new and as always stay gaming catch you in the next one peace